Hi everybody, Justin here. So in this video, Naomi and I are off to have a look at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. So the museum can be found in the northwest corner of Tulsa International Airport. At the beginning, actually, when the train screeched, and I thought, oh, that's... Yeah, I like what you're talking about. That's my thing, man. So, in Hangar 1, the museum's exhibits present a chronological history of aviation in Tulsa. Artly presents historic uniforms, documents and photos from American Airlines, Transworld Airlines and other commercial carriers. American Airlines gets special attention due to the presence in Tulsa of the largest private aircraft maintenance base in the world, owned and operated by American. Now, uh, present in Hangar 1 are several historic aircraft. I believe that's, this may be a F-14 Tomcat. So one of the highlights of the exhibit is a replica of Tulsa's original Art Deco Airport Terminal, which was designed by Leon Center, but I'm pointing to it now. Our flight has evolved over the decades. Hello, Albert. So here we are in the James E. Bertelsmeyer Planetarium and we have no footage of the video that was shown but needless to say it was rather disappointing. Snoopy! Just having a look now at some of the uh, displays inside the planetarium foyer. Could do with maybe a little bit of updating. I don't know. Just, yeah, go get inside of it. Yeah. I don't know how you just get in there. That's cool. Yeah. Stop. Oh, nice. So this is a F F-14 Tomcat, an American supersonic twin engine, two seat, twin tail, variable sweep wing fighter aircraft. It was the first such US jet fighter with twin wow, tails. Check that out, man. The Tomcat was developed for the United States Navy's Naval Fighter Experimental Program after the collapse of a previous project. The F-14 was the first of the American teen series fighters, which were designed incorporating air combat experience against MIG fighters during the Vietnam War. Yeah. The twin tails. The World War II exhibit also highlights Tulsa's contributions to the war with presentations on the Spartan Aircraft Company, the Spartan College of Aviation and Technology, and the Douglas Bomber Plant.
on display and uh, here we have this trans world um, cutaway model that you'll see in a moment where you can see here inside the aircraft great beaut model of what the uh, aircraft probably in its design and delivery phase was used as a as a show model to show you what it would the interior would look like love it love it information on Tulsa's participation in the manned and unmanned space programs and pays tribute to those Oklahomians who have worked and been to space. I have to say though the whole uh, this part of the exhibit was a little underwhelming. That brings us to the end of the visit to the Tulsa Space Museum.